Hello and welcome to Men of the Den. My name's Eric and it's Friday. So this week on Men of the Den, it is story time week, and I have chosen to read a few passages from The Faggots and Their Friends Between Revolutions. Now, this is a book that came out in 1977, and it was written by Larry Mitchell and has illustrations, uh, line drawings by Ned Asta. And this book is long out of print. It hasn't been published since, I think, uh, and there was talk of reviving it a while back through another alternative press and that just never kind of came about. So um, I'm going to read some of these, some of the pieces of this book. It's written in the style of uh, kind of a fable or mythological history and uh, it covers the history and lives of the faggots, the strong women, and the men. And uh, I'll be saying the word faggot a lot because it's in here. <laughs> and when this book came out, it was definitely uh, kind of a reclamation of the word. It was definitely something that the author of this book and the people of that time were very much in the habit of reclaiming language. And so when you hear about the faggots, it's really to talk about uh, queer people, uh, queer men specifically, uh, and, uh, yeah. A Faggot Fable Some faggots were more beautiful than other faggots. The beautiful ones only wanted to touch and be touched by the other beautiful ones. Orchard was the most beautiful of all, and all the beautiful faggots wanted to touch Orchard. One day, Orchard made himself ugly, very ugly. When the beautiful faggots saw what he had done, they wept and then turned their backs on him and forgot him. Only the ugly faggots now wanted to touch Orchard. So he gathered them all together and took them to a mountaintop where they all lived in harmony and joy. As they learned to love each other more and more, Orchard and the ugly faggots grew more and more beautiful. After many years, they floated down from their beautiful mountain and down into the town. The beautiful faggots were astounded by these newly arrived creatures. The beautiful faggots wanted to touch them all and love them forever. But Orchard said, no. You are too ugly for us. Go and love the ugliest faggot you can discover, and then we will love you in return. So they left the town and did as they were asked to do, spreading the notion that to love the ugliest will make both beautiful. At last, one day, all the faggots everywhere were so beautiful that no one had to think about it anymore. Now they all loved and touched each other with great pleasure and ecstasy. Some of the faggots are trashy. In fact, with the inspiration of the outcast women, the faggots developed trashy into a high form of disruptive behavior. When the men talk about the freedom of work and dirtiness of sex, the trashiest faggots move fast to the nearest public place where danger from the men is always present and proceed to spend endless amounts of time having glorious sexual pleasure. The men will do anything as long as they don't enjoy it or talk about it. The trashiest faggots love who they do and talk of it often. All right, one last selection. This one is called Disruption Tactics. Whenever the faggots leave their small, liberated areas to enter into the spaces of the men, they cause scenes. They do not really mean to do this, but the men cannot resist looking, pointing, yelling, or pushing the faggots. Let two faggots kiss discreetly in the dark corner of a crowded restaurant, and pandemonium will break out. Let two faggots begin to rub their bodies together rhythmically to some slow melody, and hissing will begin. 
The faggots have accepted all that they know, and see as the way things are, and so can no longer be shocked. The men live in the fantasy that everyone is like them, and so they are constantly shocked. So that's our video for this week. I hope you enjoyed these passages from The Faggots and Their Friends Between Revolutions. If you want to read the full text of this book, I will put a link down in the description so that you can go see a PDF copy of this. Read it. Think about it. Tell me what you think about it down in the comments. I would love to hear what you think about it. And uh, if you liked my performance as Storytime Teller, please give me a thumbs up. I would love to get some thumbs ups on this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And don't forget, you can also buy t-shirts at redbubble.com slash nightmedic. All of these links are down in the crotch. Thank you, and I will see you next Friday. Cheers!